This is the exact AI infrastructure I use to create business content that actually converts. Instead of spending hours writing posts that sounds like everyone else, I built a system for myself that understands my business intelligence and creates unlimited content assets from single inputs. See, if you're running a serious business, you know that content is non-negotiable. But here's what's killing most executives. You're either spending two to three hours every single day creating content that sounds like everyone's AI fluff, uh, one LinkedIn post takes 30 minutes, a Twitter thread another hour, and by the time you're finally done, you got one piece of content and you're completely burnt out. Or you're delegating it to people who do not understand your expertise, your actual business, your ICP, your brand voice, and create generic content on the other, on the other end of things. So this system, allows you to scale your knowledge without using your voice. And let me show you the exact system. So this is what I like to call content intelligence systems. And it is not basic AI prompting, it is complete business intelligence infrastructure that knows your market better than most humans. The problem that everyone faces, number one, is that you have AI content that either sounds robotic and generic. You have the same prompts, you're copy pasting from online, you probably bookmark 50 different threads and LinkedIn posts the same boring outputs as competitors, and there's no connection. It's soulless, the content. There's no connection between the AI and the actual business results, who your ICP is, your market positioning, your product, your product strategy, and you're burning time on content that doesn't convert when you have a lot more important things to take care of. You need to understand that AI is an amplifier. It is not a creator. It is simply trained on data points, okay? It simply is going to amplify what you feed it. So if you're just going to just sit there thinking that really good prompts is what's going to actually move the needle. It's not. You need to give it more context. It needs to know more information about you. And I'm going to show you exactly how. You know the adage, garbage in, garbage out. But what if you had world-class inputs? Well, it's going to simply create world-class outputs. Okay. And the solution is actually really simple. It is business intelligence plus platform patterns plus identity programming. And let me show you what that actually looks like. And this is an example, a prime example that I actually just opened LinkedIn myself, you know, of generic AI content that if you're a serious company, this is not how you want to be positioning yourself with so many emojis and all of this, like not authoritative driven content, not especially geared for thought leadership. If you're a founder, for instance, whereas here is what AI world-class AI ghostwriting looks like. You can see it is an educational, like you can read the entire post, but there's an element of education that is going into this. Now let's take a look on how to actually create systems such as these. So layer number one is that you need to provide AI with complete business intelligence. So your ICP profile, your business context, your personal profile, your product strategy, and your brand voice. And let me show you how that actually looks like. This is what my setup looks like. And as you can see over here, I have a lot of context profiles about myself, my business profile, my ICP, my product strategy, and my marketing strategy, my brand voice. And let's take a look at my ICP profile, for instance. I don't want to go too much because it, it probably contains details about the actual people I have conversations with, but these are actual pieces of information that are fed directly from my sales calls into my ICP profile. As you can see, what have they tried and failed? So my ICP, well, I we provide automation infrastructure to businesses. So you can see what have they tried and failed with, lies they've been told, return results obtained from past attempts. This is perfect. If you feed this to the AI, imagine how good is it going to be at creating pain-based marketing hooks, VSL copy, sales copy, landing pages as well, tools and technologies, lifestyle traits, status signals, right? It's really, really deep as you can see. And the same thing then extrapolates to all these different context profiles. As you can see over here, the strategic positioning, what are our competitive advantages? What is our moat? Our, my personal profile, what is my identity, right? And then layer number two is platform native intelligence. See, AI does not know what a good LinkedIn post looks like, and it doesn't know what a good Twitter post looks like at the same time. And I can give you a prime example of this. If I open, for instance, my LinkedIn and I come over here and I show you this copy that I have over here, for instance, this is um, a lead magnet I posted a while ago. It did pretty well, as you can see. But if I was to simply copy paste this onto Twitter, for instance, it's not going to do as well because Twitter has inherently a different culture. The way people interact on that platform is different. And same goes for every single social media platform. You simply cannot repurpose content by just copy pasting it. You still need to alter it and modify it. And in the past, you would have to hire content agencies and whatnot. But now with such systems with the AI trained already 
on knowing and having in its knowledge base what a good LinkedIn post looks like, what a good VSL looks like, when you agitate specific emotions, what a good newsletter looks like. You can do it all within one ecosystem. And as you can see, you want to have your best performing posts, your actual viral content that's training data, platform native formatting, like I said, LinkedIn, Twitter, email, conversation, or sorry, conversion patterns, hook, structure, CTAs, and engagement mecha me mechanisms, mechanics. What makes your audience take action? Layer three is identity-based system instruction. So this is simply, we're giving AI to act as a pattern recognition artist where we're telling it to reverse engineer the exact formatting of all these different posts so we can replicate it. How, when do you have like, for instance, let's come over to this LinkedIn copy we have over here. When do we have dividers? When do we have arrows? This is not something as if we come back, you can see this. This is what you would typically get. But when AI actually has training data and it is structured the prompting in the right way, well, it outputs this in one shot. And I'm going to show you exactly live example of it as well. So as you can see, the magic formula is business intelligence plus platform patterns plus identity programming. And that is what equals AI content that actually converts. And this has unlimited applications, guys. This is not condensed to the scope of just LinkedIn content or Twitter content. This, we have deployed these exact systems for some of the biggest influencers in the world, massive businesses and clients for sales copy, newsletter content, YouTube scripting, Instagram reels, blogs, posts, and you can even deploy this into your exact automations, whether that be for chatbots, AI SDRs, in the form of JSON context profiles, as you can see over here. And this is what the sophisticated difference looks like, where typically you would just say, write me a LinkedIn post about my business and perhaps you give it a bit of information about your business. But my systems, well, this is what my system looks like, and I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like. My system looks like this. It has a lot of information, but it's a one-time setup. As you see, if we come back over here, AI that knows your business better than most humans, content that converts better than most agencies, if not, I'm going to be honest, 99% <laughs> based on my experience, and scales your expertise without losing your authentic voice. And you build it once, guys, and it scales forever. You don't have to keep replicating this. You can just build it within one ecosystem. And let's test the exact system out live on the spot. So this is a YouTube transcript I have. As we can see, this is actually a 30 minute long video, kind of long. So we can come into this and let's do it live here. So I'll turn on extended thinking. So can we create a LinkedIn um, thought leadership post, a LinkedIn lead magnet post out of this piece of content? This is a video transcript I had. That's all I do, guys. You know, and it's going to create the perfect copy in one go. Just give it a while. As you can see, it's going to activate specific files based on trigger words I said. So I mentioned thought leadership, so it's going to actually activate. You can see it's activating the LinkedIn thought leadership post, the example. So this is the training document and this is the prompt. And this is my context. It's activating my business context, my ICP and my brand voice. As you can see guys, and it is a really good post. I like it, it's clean. It is really thought leadership oriented. As you can see, this is a really good copy. Most businesses are drowning. I spent 20 minutes showing someone my, as you can see, this is really based on the entire transcript. And then we have the exact copy for the lead magnet as well. And take a look at this. We have the CTA as well. I can copy this exact thing over here. And if we come, you can see the lead magnet post is clean. The arrows are there. It has the perceived value. It has the condensation of time from 40 hours to five minutes. And then it has the CTA. And over here, this is a LinkedIn thought leadership post. Sounds familiar. Look, it's asking questions. There's a bit of storytelling involved. Okay, and now can we create a Twitter post, AI life out of this? So let it make the Twitter post. And finally, I want to explain guys as to why this actually works. And the reason most AI implementations fail miserably and you're always just stuck with AI. I see it all the time. Everyone is busy buying all these prompt guides, building NAD and workflows without even understanding the underlying technology you're using. You're using an LLM guys. You cannot innovate on something you do not even fundamentally understand. You first need to understand AI and LLMs from first principles and only then can you push the boundaries of it. How can you push the boundaries of something you don't even fundamentally understand? AI is not a magical black box that knows everything about your business. And when you finally understand how it processes information underneath the hood, that's when you become 10 times better at helping it help you. And let's take a look. And as we can see, <laughs> it is a really good post. Most people are collecting AI tools like Pokemon cards. That's actually, that's a nice hook. And take a look, it is in small caps. And this is exactly how, you know, we like to do it on Twitter as well. 
It's clean. You can see you need one intelligent system. The copy is awesome. I could, it's one shotted. And we've been deploying these completely autonomous content intelligent systems for various clients now. And just recently we deployed one for a client who actually has 25,000 followers on LinkedIn, but it was a completely dead account, like literally getting one or two likes every single post. And within one week, of deploying the exact system, we've seen a 3000% increase in engagement. And like I said, there's a science to this. You can lit literally gamify it. Why? Because we trained the AI number one on the best writers in the industry, on his competition and on the industry, combined with complete business intelligence about their market and ICP. And I'm showing you exactly how the system works. And this is the exact business infrastructure intelligence system that me and my clients use to create 20 high performing posts within the span of 15 to 20 minutes. And what I would really recommend is I'm dropping this over here in the comments. You can use this, this context profile generator. So this is what will actually allow you to create what I have over here, the personal profile, my business profile, my ICP profile, my product strategy, all these different context profiles. You simply take this. Put these system instructions, as you can see over here, into your Claude project. I would definitely recommend using Claude. You can experiment with GPT-5 as well. And then in the knowledge base, you want to add this number one as one piece in your knowledge base. Then you add this and you can add this in the, as a third piece in your knowledge base. And now then simply turn on extended thinking, interact with it, give it literally dump into it all information about your business, you know, posts you've created in the past. All good information though. Do not just give it posts that do not convert. If you have never had posts that do not have converted, then well, give it something that you want to replicate. You know, a brand voice you want to replicate and see how you can start creating AI and actually leveraging LLMs to the fullest of its potential. Either way, I hope this little presentation was useful and have a good one.